in order to create a virtual machine running Windows 11, I'm going to take advantage of the Quick Create link, which is here at the top on the right hand side. I'm going to click on Quick Quick Create, and this is going to launch the um, virtual machine creation wizard. I'm going to select, I have different options here. Um, notice that I have an option for Ubuntu 18, 20, 22, and Windows 11 development environment. So basically what this is going to do, this is going to download uh, the image from the uh, Microsoft website and it's going to set up the virtual machine for us. So it's kind of like um, a quick way to create a virtual machine. So notice here that you have another option here. Uh, if you want to do a local installation source, and that is if you have the, um, the ISO image on your local system. Here uh, on the right hand side, you have more options. Here you can uh, rename or provide a name for your virtual machine. And notice that I already have one 11 development environment. So um, you want to give your virtual machine a unique name. So I'm going to call mine uh, Windows 11 Dev Home 1. And um, for the network, I'm going to leave it as default switch and I'm going to go ahead and click create virtual machine. At this stage is downloading the image and then it's going to proceed with the installation of the operating system. Uh, this is a lengthy process. It takes um, at least 10-15 minutes. So be patient and um, wait until Windows finish the installation. All right, so once the process finished, you get this message, a virtual machine created successfully. Go ahead and click connect. You can additionally click on edit settings. Let's go ahead and edit some settings for the virtual machine. Here I want to click on the memory section and notice and that um, the quick create wizard assigns two, two gigs as RAM for the virtual machine. We want to change this to be, if possible, if you have enough memory in your system. If not, just leave it the way it is. But I want to assign four gigs of memory. I'm going to type 4096. And here what it says, enable dynamic uh, memory. I'm going to set the minimum RAM and the maximum RAM to be the same settings of this uh, memory allocated here. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to say 4096 and 4096. Uh, make sure you do this also for your Windows Server um, virtual machine. It improves the performance of the uh, of the virtual machine. Next, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and click Connect. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and click Start. Okay, so once the installation is complete, um, let's go ahead and click sign in.